I am. We've got Emily, who we love to see, but we also have Brian. Good morning. That's right. I am standing in front of our rhino exhibit. It's gotten completely renovated because we have a new species of rhino here. We've had several species of rhino at the Columbus Zoo, but Brian is a greater one horn rhino and he just arrived here in April. Now this species of rhino is semi-aquatic. They'll actually swim and they'll go in the water to look for plants to eat. And so we've added a brand new water feature here in our rhino yard for Brian. And what's the big deal about having him here? Like how huge is that? It's really, really cool. You know, I love talking about greater one horn rhinos because it's one of the coolest rhino species in my opinion. Now they're all cool, don't get me wrong. I love rhinos in general, but these guys came back from the brink of extinction. This is one of the coolest conservation stories that we like to talk about because in the 1970s, there were several hundred individuals and because of the government working together with conservation organizations and just really strict protection, these guys came back from the brink of extinction and now there's about 300 um, or 3,700, I should say, individuals back in Nepal and India in their native home range. And then is there anything that we could do, is there anything that we need to do in order to help them? Actually, yes. Yeah. So, you know, collectively with the wilds and the Columbus Zoo, we, we've all raised over $200,000 for rhino conservation. And you guys are directly helping that. The support of our community coming to visit the zoo, you guys are helping us to support all of those conservation initiatives all over the world. And it can help rhinos like Brian here come back from the brink of extinction. That's awesome. And then is there anything else going on at the zoo that we need to know about? Absolutely. So where I'm standing right now, you get to visit Brian, Brian the rhino on the way to the baby elephant area. So if you mm -hmm. haven't seen the baby elephant yet, um, he's pretty darn adorable and he's inside with his mom, Phoebe, and you might see him with his, uh, his aunt and his cousin or however you want to say that family dynamic. <laughs> Rudy and Sunny are two other female elephants and they actually have just been introduced to him. So you might see them all together during the day, but he is pretty darn cute. Well, that's awesome. I cannot wait to see him. And obviously, we've had some really good weather the last few days. It's going to be a little warmer, but still a good weekend for it. Absolutely. It's beautiful out. It's a great time to come. We have extended hours, 9 to 7, so you have plenty of time to come see us. And yeah, it, it's been pretty beautiful these past couple of days. Emily, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, a scary sight for motorists on a Phoenix highway. Big rig jackknifed. It was hanging precariously from an overpass on Interstate 17 Friday. State Transportation.